and everything's recorded if you want to go back and look at everything. But we're going to um, get started with learning about reels. And we'll touch on a couple. Um, there's uh, how you can re reuse all this content. We're going to touch on that a little bit as well, kind of like I mentioned in the group. Uh, but we're going to mainly focus on Instagram and Reels. So let's see here. So my name is Laura Brantley, and if you're new to the group or you don't know much about me, I am a DBA, which is like a design virtual assistant, an e-designer. So I run my own e-design business. I'm also an educator. I also just um, accepted a job as a um, online adjunct professor at my uh, school I went to previously. And I hold a bachelor's degree in interior design and a master's degree in visual communication, which is a fun mix. So it's like I have graphic design and interior design um, background. And my passion has evolved to being helping designers visually present their designs more effectively, whether it be renderings, which is my other business, and or graphic design, which is my business here. And so, what we'll learn today is we're going to answer uh, frequently asked questions in regards to reels. And then we're also going to talk about um, how you can use Canva templates if they already have it in the program to uh, more efficiently uh, create your reels and easily just drag and drop that way. And we're also going to talk about how to bulk create reels ahead of time. So that way you're not uh, freaking out like, oh my gosh, I haven't made a reel today. Well, all you have to do is sit down for a couple hours and you can actually make several. And then we're going to talk about how to, like I said, reuse the real content for other platforms. So frequently asked questions. Okay. First of all, like uh, Charmaine mentioned in the group, do we need Canva Pro? No, you don't need Canva Pro. Canva Pro does have advantages when it comes to using um, making reels. Like you have more free images, videos, and vectors. However, you do still have access to a lot of images and videos and vectors and different um, graphics in that way. And you also have um, still some animations that you can use, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, and so you can still make a really great reel that will just wow your audience, and they'll be like, how did you make that? I learned it in Canva. Lauren taught me. <laughs> and um, what about TikTok? We also talked about that a little bit in the group. You can easily just download the reel and upload it into TikTok. And also there's Pinterest is actually doing these type videos as well now. And also YouTube. So everybody is going to short videos. And oftentimes it's actually the shorter, the better. Um, people don't have time to watch a 30 minute video anymore. I found out. And uh, where do you get these content ideas? Uh, just through scrolling through Instagram. You literally, you'll just spend 15, 10, 15 minutes a day and you can get some really great ideas, especially if you're following um, hashtags that uh, your ideal client will follow. Uh, you can get some really great ideas. And so now we're going to talk about using Canva templates to create reels. So let me pop into Canva. Here. Okay. So I have all these reels down here that I made actually today. It took me like probably 10 or 15 minutes to make them because I literally just used a template from Canva. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I did that. So what you'll do is you'll come over, I'm going to go to my homepage, and you'll hit create a design. And you'll type in Instagram Reels. Okay. 
And once you click that, it's going to come up a um, a blank page that is completely formatted for a reel. And you have all these templates. There's tons. The key thing about templates, because there is so many, you need to think about your ideal client, your branding, and everything. And these are, I mean, they're changeable just like any other template. But um, you need to think about that. Find something that closely aligns to what yours is. That way you won't have to change it so much. And because it's it can be overwhelming if you choose one that's not, and then you end up just changing the whole thing. And then you're like, oh no, that don't look good. <laughs> I'm speaking from experience, I've done it. <laughs> So uh, what do you want to do? I, I do this uh, when it comes to interior design. Sometimes I'll click, I'll just type in interior design. And then they actually have some that's specifically geared towards interior design. This one's my favorite. I've used it a lot in my rendering page. So I'll click that. It is for the pro. They actually have some for free right here. And I'll show you that one in a minute. Now, once you click it, all you have to do is click on all the assets in it and change the color to your branding colors. And if you have the pro account, you can save your branding colors. And it makes it super easy to change these. And then you can change the type. And then if that um, font doesn't match your brand, you can always uh, type in the font that does match your brand. And oftentimes Canva will just show you what your recently viewed is. So you can actually just click that. And then this one, the only thing I don't like about it is it is an upside down picture. So you can't never get the picture to work right unless you upload it upside down. So I just always flip it over and it still looks good. Because I, like, I still like it that way. And so once you do that, you go back to the template and then it has these additional pages that are all still set up real nice. And then you change your colors back and it'll keep the document colors, so. And then you go back to your uploads. I want that picture. And then, if, like if your picture's too big, just double click it and you can move it over. And then you just keep adding pages. As you go along. You hear my daughter's thing in the background, I apologize. Change this color and then change this photo. You can also um, zoom these photos in. Okay. And now, what you want to do is make sure that the animation on this is what you want it to be because that's how the like the video file is going to animate so like in instagram how you create animation typically in the app well in canva you can already adjust that so what you want to do like this is this one has the pan animation and up here is where you'll change it so animate and there's basic ones, and these are completely free, but anything with the 
crown is not. It, it, you either have to pay for it or get Canva Pro to do so. And But they're really nice ones, as you can see. And so, it all just depends on what look you're wanting to go for. And then if you want the same one, like this one, uh, they had automatically the pan animation throughout. What you'll do if you want to change that, like let's say I want to change it to fade, you'll click apply to all pages down here. And that way it's cohesive throughout. And then once you're done, you hit download in people. Make sure you have all pages selected on the download. And then, um, well, when we get back to our slide, I'll show you, you can easily just upload it to Instagram. And it'll be a nice, pretty one. I have one on my Instagram that was done basically with the same reel somewhere. I should have. I don't know if it's this one. Well, that was done in Canva. So this one right here was done in Canva. Um, not the same template, but it was done with the template. And like you can see, it was easy just to put together. I put, plot my GIF in there and just changed the type and there it was. I just downloaded it and uploaded it in there. So can't, it makes it really easy with the templates. Um, now, if you're not going to use a template, if you want to make a whole new thing, uh, now I'm going to go through that and I need to uh, show you the free one I made. Now, this one, this one's completely free. Now, if you're going to use the free version, this is a, a template they have for the free version. And it's kind of like, um, a magazine cover type thing. And I would use this one for a blog post because you can also use these as um, at the bottom of your blog, like pinnable images and things. So I would use this as a uh, blog post. And you see, I have uh, five kids and trans for 2022. And uh, you can put another blog post down here, like 50 interior design styling tips. And it doesn't look like, this doesn't look like much right now because it is just one image. But once you click on the image and you hit animate right here, you can see it can, you can change the photo movement down here and it can create a really fun, inter interesting look. And then you can also change the animation of the individual text. The easiest way to do that, however, is to first uh, change the entire animation like we did in the other ones. So you'll just click up here and change it. So we'll do rise. And then you'll click the photo and make the photo move. And then you can download that one. But then you'll want to make sure just like just that page and hit download. And as you're doing this, you can see like I've got one, two, three, six, six reels ready. And that's almost a week worth of reels. So I mean, it only took me, like, in total, probably, uh, like, 30 minutes to get six reels ready. So if you just bust all them out, I mean, that won't take you much time at all. Now, if you want to create it from scratch, um, it still doesn't take much time as long as you use that animation and everything. And keep in mind, um, your text, if your text and if you're using the same, I want you to use the same template, go back and keep everything organized. It's really uh, just a matter of copy and paste. So what I'm gonna do since today is the third day of um, the 30 day challenge and it's the tips and tricks. 
I'm going to show you, I'm going to do like the parent, parent of uh, pillows, sofa pillows, because I, uh, kind of, I partner with like Land of Pillows, they're one of my affiliate partners. So I'm going to show you that. And it's just a really simple reel that uses one of the animations that I really like to use. And so it should be pretty simple to make. So I have these pillow pictures that I have over here and we're gonna do those first. So what you'll do though, is you'll go to any manufacturer. I, I like to use Land of Pillows and you'll come here and you wanna make sure when you find the pillow, you wanna make sure that you right click and save image as. You don't want to take a screenshot because a lot of times when I uh, teach people about Canva, a lot of times I'll take screenshots. And if you don't have the PNG or the JPEG file like from the manufacturer, a lot of times it'll come out blurred on Canva. That's just because it's a low quality image. So you don't want that, especially in a reel because a lot of times in a reel, that's the first uh, time anybody is seeing your company and if they see something low quality they'll think that your business is low quality and we don't want that so you want to make sure that you do that and then you'll upload the picture and I just drag for mine I just click it and drag but the more proper way to do it is obviously to click upload media but I just drag and drop it works <laughs> Oh, um, so what you want to do is once all that's uploaded, then you can either click it or you can bring it in like that. And if you have the free version, which is perfectly fine, you're not going to be able to use a uh, remove background for this. So I would probably make this a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is just resize these to where they kind of come together in like a little square. And this is going to be for the free learning. For the free version, you want to make sure that your background is completely white and nothing behind these are white because I'll show you. You're not going to be able to remove the background. Because if your background is a different color, that's what your potential client's going to say. So now we've got those all organized. And what you want to do now is you'll click and drag over them. And then I would group them. So that way you don't have to bother moving them all. Then you'll go over here to elements and then lines and shapes. And I like to use this um, rectangle with a shadow. It looks uh, more professional to me. And then I'll make it like that. And then I need to add some text and text is over here to the left. And you'll click subheading. Make it a little larger. And right now we're just um, making the format. We're not necessarily making um, like putting what's going to be in it. So we're just going to put this together. And I'm going to change that font by clicking up here.
And this font right here is the one that's used for my brand. And I usually mix it with that one. And so what I'm going to do, let's put round two. Put that over here. And then copy this. Then put that on. We'll put mix and match. And then if you want to put something in the all uppercase, you do it like that. I'm going to increase the size of this. Okay, let's All right, and then this, I'm gonna change the color of this to this brand color. And then move, and then copy this stuff here. And put this here, fill it. And if you wanna learn, more about um how to well how to mix and match text and everything i did a type uh, typography lesson i guess it's been um uh, two or three months ago now uh but that one is really helpful to kind of go on into the backbone of like what i'm kind of doing right now as far as Mixing the um, sans, sans serif and serif text, and you got the handwriting text there, and it kind of goes into like why I chose, you know, the brand text and what you should do in order to select your brand text. Um, but now we're gonna put more descriptive text. I think I'm actually gonna move this down. Right here. And then what you wanna do when you create like a heading type thing like this, you wanna group that because it's not gonna center right in Canva until you do group it. So you wanna group it. So now what I'm gonna do is add my uh, contact details at the bottom. Okay. And then I uh, want to add a contact name. Well now I actually want to read. Read more because this blog post this is going to be to a blog post um, and that and I kind of go went into that a little bit in the group but it's going the best thing you can do with reels TikTok videos whatever is to make sure that they go to a blog post or anything like that and uh, all you have to do is add a quick action to them. And mm -hmm three more things like that. So make sure you do that. Oh, I'll be your language. And another thing with um, type, using the same type over and over again will help you with good easiness. Okay, now we're gonna change this. And then 
I will hopefully be done with this. Okay. And keep in mind, this is in the free, and it's just me, a free one. So once you're done putting all that together, and ideally I would put more things on this, but we have a lot to go through today. So once you're um, done putting all that together, you will do the animations. And as you can see, it just automatically does all that. All pretty. All nice. Okay. I like that one for the free version. And now let me show you, let me ungroup all these. Uh, if I was to do this in the pro version, how I would do it is click edit image. He said, urgent, what do you need? There's no urgent at all. Okay. After this, we'll oh. have, okay. After this, we'll have lunch, okay? After one, can you help me fix my, get my robot? Can y'all uh, meet you your- You have something where you can go over your room and get super duper high tech eyes. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. gonna look a bit lighter. Can y'all meet your mics, please? All right. And if you're in a pro version, you can always uh, remove the background and just, and I, I like to stack these pillows over each other and then use the animate. And where is, where is the one I like to use for this? There it is. And then I'll let you use scrapbook. All right, let's. Get through the rest of it because <laughs> I'm running out of time. All right. Let's see. Present. Oh, and my mask went down. Okay, we went through that. Okay, now the next step is finding your music. And you want to make sure when you're scrolling through, like I said, that you find music that. Um, is trending so you'll find the little arrow that goes up and then when you're ready if you want to possibly one day save it you put the little symbol that goes dot 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 and then when you're ready to uh recreate it you will go back to your saved and right like that and then i'll post and your reels and then you'll save the music and if you do that enough you'll create a very large library where you can create tons of reels using trend and music and then like i said the next is creating everything in bulk so you'll recreate and you can you can actually use these templates and the templates you create for yourself over and over again using new content so you can do that very efficiently. Oops, back. And then the next step is to add your reel. And um, in order to do that efficiently, what I like to do is to save things as draft and do it ahead of time. You can actually write your caption and do all that, tag people, whatever, and do it ahead of time. And also add your cover photo and save it as draft and it'll it'll save it and you can come back later it can be a week from there from a week from now whatever and it'll it'll work it'll fix it and you just keep saving stuff whenever you have a chance and uh you can have up to you know 10 or 15 reels and i've had i've had i've had 10 10 drafts before so i mean you can you can go up and up and up a bit. So let's see. I like to reuse uh, reels for all of these platforms. Shorts, TikTok, and Pinterest. And so with TikTok, all you have to do is download it and click this little button. 
and hit send and it'll do it. Pinterest is a little different. You hit idea pin and you upload you upload it. And then you hit done and you do it. And then YouTube is similar to Pinterest. You have to hit um, short and then you'll do it. Other apps I use, and I encourage y'all to check these out. They help with editing, extracting music from TikTok, things like that. If you have any questions, I can definitely uh, talk about these in the group. Uh, but I use CapCut, Mojo, and InShot. With that. Okay. Now, we have a few minutes left for questions. If anybody has any questions, I would love to answer anything. Y'all can unmute yourselves if you have questions. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? Um, this is Jillian. I do have a question. Um, sometimes uh, with renderings, you'll see where people maybe, I even saw it in one of yours, maybe you have a couch and then a chair zooms in and then a table zooms in. Are How are you accomplishing that? Oh, okay. Does that make sense? So like the whole photo zooms, oh no, you, you mean in a video? Like in a video. In, yeah, like in a video, like uh, say you have a living room and initially you just see uh, the living room setting with the couch and then yeah. it's almost oh, like the chairs oh, being placed in and then like the tables being placed in. What you'll, what you'll do, like let's say you're using, um, do, what, do you um, what, use, um, use eDesign Charmark? Uh, I do, yeah. All right, so what you'll do when you go into your um, your 360, you'll mm -hmm. go in and you'll hit screen record. And you'll very carefully, like I've, I've done this before, you'll very carefully screen record almost like a walkthrough. And you can, you can honestly screen record the whole experience in 360 if you want. That creates good content. I think I just created a reel that was that. But you'll very carefully... Um, get into like an eye level view and then screen record yourself doing that. And then that's how you uh, can create a walkthrough um, type of reel. And then you'll zoom in, zoom out, and you then you'll edit it. You can edit it and you can edit it in Canva and like split the views and things and make it more cohesive in the fact of how it's doing it. And uh, so it's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy. It's not terribly easy, but you know, once you get the hang of it, you uh, you can do it. So sure. It, yeah. It's just kind of playing around. It make sure you know you have a good mouse. <laughs> That's the key to. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go around a few times. Oh goodness. But uh, but that's a good question. Anybody else have any more questions? Oh. Um, so I have an announcement I want to get to you. The first coming up next, uh, we're live in the group over Canva features. There's brand new ones and some new ones I have whenever I want to go over those. Um, intro to Canva Pro, that'll be good. Uh, there's a lot of good features there. And then Pinterest and Essentials using Canva. Pinterest and Canva work like really great cohesively. It's, um, if you uh, ever get a chance, to, if you are using Canva Pro specifically, and um, it's a really good tool to use for Pinterest. So we'll go over that. And if you're familiar with eDesign U, I have that course over there, Graphic Design Furniture Designers. I go more in depth with everything uh, that we learn in the group, as well as some extra tools. And so um, if you want to check that out, check it out. The link's in the group. And last fun, exciting announcement. I have a new course coming out, if you haven't seen it in the group. Canva course for interior designers. It'll be exclusive, like, just for Canva, there'll be tons of resources, tons of tutorials, 
unlike almost anything you can create for interior designers. And the pre-order will start February 10th. I'm super excited about it. I'm so stoked. It will be awesome. So I hope you guys can check that out. And I'm really so happy that y'all were able to join me today. And I'm really thankful. And I will post the recording if you want to 